So we're going to start with our tibia right here. And I'm going to try to get this whole bone in the frame of view for you. And then we'll kind of zoom into the, uh, the proximal and the distal lens of this bone and identify some of the landmarks. So again, we need to know, one, that it's a tibia. Okay, and there are some key features that are going to help us in this big, broad, flattened head that we're going to look at that's going to help us identify this bone. Uh, and you need to know if it's a left or right. So we'll kind of put it all together, look at some of the terms here, and then help identify it. So let's start at the proximal most aspect, or the uppermost part of this bone. You see that we have this reversed divot. Right? Another shallow depression that's going to receive the condyles of the femur. Well, this is going to follow suit. These are going to be called our condyles, and it's going to be based on directional terms. So, when we put this in our body, let's now go to the distal most end. We have this big bony process or protuberance, okay? This is going to be called your malleolus. Now, it's going to be directional term. This is one of the most prominent features on this bone. This is your medial malleolus. It's going to lock in with the lateral malleolus on the fibula to form a nice little like wrench to grab onto the talus. Now, with that being said, if this is the medial malleolus, that means that the tibia has to be in the medial most bone in your lower limb. So that means that if this is facing medial, this must be a left tibia. Okay. If it was on the other side, it would be a right tibia. So this is a left tibia. Now let's go back to the uh, proximal end. We have this big bump right here. This is a tibial tuberosity. Okay, see that big bump? Tibial tuberosity. This crest, and again, you could pinch that big crest, is your anterior tibial crest. This is the body or shaft of the tibia. Again, we have our little downward bulge here that is going to form our medial malleolus. And if you feel down on the inside most aspect of your ankle, you can feel this big bulge. Okay. The next bone we're going to look at is the fibula. Now, the fibula is really straightforward because we only have a couple things we need to know here. We have the head, the neck, the body or the shaft, and our lateral malleolus. So now if you feel on the outside aspect of your thigh, that bump, that protrusion that you feel is the lateral malleolus. Now determining left or right is a little more difficult. I like to feel for this sharp edge. That sharp edge will always point anterior. So this is going to match up nicely right here with our left tibia and we're going to form our left fibula right next to it. Now the nice thing about this is we need to understand that it forms a nice little joint and if we look at it like this it forms like a nice little wrench that will grab onto our ankle bones and in between here is going to be a nice example of a connective tissue sheet or membrane. It is our interosseous membrane, interosseous meaning between bones. It's going to kind of hold these two uh, bones together. Okay, so that's our tibia, that's our fibula. And the last tutorial we're going to have for appendicular portion of our skeleton, specifically our pelvic girdle, will be the foot.